And it may help protect you from COVID-19, but some people worry that wearing a mask may not be so healthy when exercising. That's why Baylor Scott & White Hospital has completed now one of the first studies on that very issue. Our J.D. Miles with a closer look at what is involved. Jumping this high repeatedly isn't easy, even if you're a former OU defensive lineman and NFL prospect. It's even harder for a football star like Kenneth Mann while wearing a face mask. It is harder to breathe in, and then especially doing something like the workouts that we go through. I know you, you're not gonna forget that it's on. Uh, I, don't, I don't forget that it's on. It is annoying, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Mann says he wears a mask regularly to avoid COVID-19, but wonders what it's doing to his body while training. It's something doctors at Baylor Scott & White also wondered when they began a study last month. It's still an unknown. There's no research looking at that today. Dr. Aaron Reynolds is one of those behind the groundbreaking study to see what impact, if any, wearing a mask has on the heart and lungs while running, exercising, and playing sports. And in this study, we're specifically looking at cloth masks just because that is what most of us are wearing when we're doing normal activities like exercising. Most of the testing was conducted on treadmills and included a total of 30 people. The results from the study could come within a few weeks. So we're having participants do the exertion wearing a mask and then not wearing a mask. And we're also looking at their psychological response to wearing a mask. The research will hopefully give everyone from average people with active lifestyles to pro athletes like man peace of mind that wearing a mask while working out isn't doing more harm than good. In Frisco, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.